Well, the holidays are here and this year everything is a little bit more expensive than it used to be, especially getting a custom made gift for someone special. Yeah, but have no fear. We're here to help you out for that holiday gift giving. This morning, our producer Mary created all of these gifts you see in front of us by hand. And these definitely don't break the bank either. So impressive. And they look so good too yeah. for that gift giving. Yeah, okay, so which one are we gonna start with? Okay, let you. me start with me. Yeah. I'm gonna start with caramel corn. So we've got some right in the front there. Okay, so this is what you need in order to make this work. You need corn puffs, better made salzies, corn syrup, brown sugar, butter, baking soda. Peanuts is an optional item, but it will cost extra. So it costs 12 bucks to make for a six good for six good size bags. You will have leftovers of caramel ingredients. Of course, that's yep. so good. Oh, darn. So you can, I know. So you can make a second batch if you want to buy another bag of corn puffs. It's, and then this is the final product. It's delicious. It's really easy to make. It's a little mm -hmm. sticky, so maybe not a great ah. thing. So but, you tried this? Uh, yeah, I've made it before. Okay. Uh, but maybe not a great thing for kids because it's also hot and sticky. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Oh, yeah. Okay. And who All doesn't right. love a good caramel corn, though? Right? Yes, especially. Exactly. Right. Okay, let me put that here. Okay, what do we got next? We, we have uh, these homemade hot chocolate kits with chocolate plastic spoons on them. So, what you need is hot chocolate packets, which we've got here in the back, plastic spoons, chocolate chips, and then if you want, candy canes that you can crush up and put on these spoons. You can kind of see some of them yeah. there as mm -hmm. well. So, you melt the chocolate chips, you dip the spoons in the melted chocolate, okay. and then you roll them in the candy canes, Ooh. and you Pack all amazing. these up yeah. in a pack together, put them in a nice little mug like we've got up yeah. here. Costs about 15 bucks for five packs of the spoons and the hot chocolate as well. And you know, you can always find the mugs for cheap at many right. of the yeah. dollar stores and anything like that. Sure. So that's not going to be expensive a, a either. A great gift for this time of year, especially when oh, we're talking yeah. about that winter weather on the way, too. It doesn't I had even that look yesterday. handmade. No. You know what I mean? No. And that comes with a story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I love it. All right, what do we got next? So next is something that I like for my house, and that's mini candles. So these Ooh. are these ones we see right here. Yeah. For the mini Ooh. candles, what you're going to need is two ounce glass jars, short candle wicks, and square wax melts. You will glue the wick in the jar and then melt it with a double boiler, which is a glass dish over a pot of boiling water. You'll pour the wax into the jars, let them sit and harden. These cost about twenty dollars for six mini candles. Candles, and you can do really all six of them as a gift. So some of what we've got here, the green one, I believe is winter pine. We've got the white one, vanilla snow, gingerbread, hot apple cider, mm. and that's apple cider. sangria. No. Ooh. That's, that's, that's sangria, sangria, I should yeah. say. Yeah. This, this is the Can winter really pine. I actually like this one. That's Ooh. really good. That's the winter pine. Oh, Ooh, yes. I like this one too. You, just said this one. you know, mm. it, it, I feel cool. a little intimidated though when you were Mary, explaining I'm just how to take make this it. One home, all right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right <laughs> in the pocket. Ooh, yep. goes right. Ooh, in the this is room. strong. Which one? This is the vanilla. Yeah. Ooh, I like it's that good. one. Too. Do you I think like it'd be good too. for a beginner though? Because I felt a little intimidated when you no, were explaining how to make it. And you use double broilers, and I say this because I teach family consumer sciences and culinary arts too. Double broilers are used a lot for candy making, oh. and that's what you do a lot of the melting and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's the same premise because you've got to melt the mat, uh, melt the wax. I yeah. promise I'll uh -huh. get it right uh -huh. in order to get it in these small jars. So double broilers really are not hard to use. I think, in my opinion, the hardest part would be making sure you've got the the wick part there sitting in the bottom. Right, getting it in good there. Good point. And okay, if you don't have a double boiler at home, you can put a glass bowl on top of a pot a that pot, has yes. water in it. Just be very so careful. The, the last thing here is melt and pour soaps. This one is a cucumber melon that Mary made. Ooh. You pour them. Uh, you microwave the soap base base for about 30 seconds uh, in the microwave. Very, very easy. You add okay. your fragrance and your dye that you can get at most craft stores like Michael's. You let that slowly melt for a little bit and then you mix it all together, pour it into a silicone mold or Ooh. you can put it into a, a yeah. loaf pan with some it, wax paper like and slice. Yes. That and, How long uh, do you think that whole process is? Not very long. I mean, it would just take a little bit longer for it to set up, but otherwise. Okay. Have I you done this too? Soap. I have also done it too. Demir just said it takes about 10 minutes. 10 total. minutes. Oh, that's not bad. No, very easy. It now, smells great. And Mary, I'm going to ask this because I know you're listening back there. What about anybody with allergies because of the soap? Is that something you had to take into consideration mm. for this? Like with the scent? Yeah, with Probably. the scents or anything that's yeah. like in the actual soap. But Let that is the like beauty it. of it that it's all customizable. Less you all make it no yourself. Scent. Okay, you less than no good. Yeah. Yes. You know this is going to you can right. make those choices instead of having to worry about that when you go to buy it. What a store. random question, though. You'd be like, so just trying to bring it up. So, how sensitive is your skin? Right. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> no reason. Right. Just no <laughs> reason for that. And this one is very cheap. Costs about twenty-two dollars for okay. twelve bars of soap. Wow. And that's it out at the end. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's great. That's very. And great. it's the story that you have. Yes. It shows the time that you put into mm -hmm. it. Yeah, and also you can also you know 
do this every year. If right, you true, it. for sure. I, I'm true. really excited well, about the, the yeah. caramel popcorn. Mary, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much, Mary. Great ideas yeah. for our producer, Mary. Thank you so much.